Hey beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Bitumela, aka Dumi. I don't know why I said my full name. That's weird. <laughs> it's your girl to me back again with another video for you guys. If you are returning to my channel, thank you so much for returning. And I'm sure you are subscribed. If not, subscribe. But thank you so much for tuning in once again to another video. And if you are new to my channel, welcome i hope that you join my beautiful family here on youtube by hitting the subscribe button down below before you go and you'll probably give this video a super duper bigger like super 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 big thumbs up before you go i'm very dramatic today i don't know why i think it's lashes <laughs> i really think it's lashes as you guys can see i've already like done my eyes i do have primer on but as you guys can see by the title below it's about a foundation it's a foundation review i haven't done a foundation review in quite some time today's video is about the catrice hd liquid coverage foundation um and i guess kind of a continuation on catrice products since my last video which you can watch over here and i've never done a catrice facial except for the primer so like i said today i've already primed my face with the catrice prime and fine kidney matte primer i've already spoken about the primers before this is one of three primers which i absolutely love i've used catrice's lipsticks before i use the eyeliner that's what i have in my eyes right now but it's just focusing on their foundation today so if you want to hear more about this foundation and see how it looks on my face and we're going to do a bit of a wear test please continue watching so oh, this catrice says it's the hd liquid coverage foundation from catrice cosmetics catrice is a european based brand where in europe i'm not sure let's look at the box okay this thing it says made in italy so probably italian i would assume so i just know it's a european based cosmetics um brand and they do are uh, they're only available at uh this chem almost a clicks they're only available at this chem if you want to go in store but you can also buy this on superbolist as well as take a lot and it retails for 147 rand which i think is a pretty decent like that's a very affordable like foundation and it is 147 on, on at this came on superbulous and on take a lot and it has this packaging is interesting so it's in the color toffee beige as you guys can see here and there was a bit of a sticker over here that was very easily broken also i didn't I don't, I don't know i was like when i got it installed because i went to this game to get this i couldn't find where the seal wasn't broken it's a seal of some sorts i just found that a little bit weird um so the packaging as you can see it has a dropper which is very interesting i've never used a foundation with a dropper i think the only other foundation that i know comes with a dropper is the nyx is the nyx um foundation i can't remember. i think it's the nyx total drop foundation i can't remember exactly its name but it also has a dropper which i find very odd and it'll be my first time using it but what i will say about the packaging so far i don't like the frosted glass because that made me it made it a little bit difficult for me to find my exact shade so i'm in the shade toffee beige which is number 70 and from what i know they have 21 shades so i have a little bit of information here about this um, foundation so it says it comes in 21 shades and they don't really run very dark if i'm going to be completely honest um, it seemed that they had extended their shade range in South Africa quite recently. If I remember seeing so on their Instagram, on the Cosmetic SA Instagram page, um, they extended the range here in South Africa. But if you go on Discam, Discam's website is funny. So I wouldn't suggest buying it on Discam. But you do get all the shades, if I'm not mistaken, on Superbulous and Take a Lot. But it doesn't really run very dark. I feel like they're darker shades. People, my skin tone and darker. There's not much to choose from. I'm going to be honest about that. But there's a lot to choose from on the lighter end of the spectrum. So I really feel like 21 shades, they could really, really do way better. Especially if they want to do well in Africa. They need to extend their darker shades. But anyways, they have 21 shades. And it says that it offers a high but natural looking coverage while feeling extremely lightweight just like a second skin it provides a smooth and even complexion and this ultra liquid this ultra liquid texture is extremely high performing and long lasting it covers imperfections for up to 24 hours i'd never understand 
foundations or makeup in general that want to last more than 12 hours like dear god i'm not going to sleep with makeup so you know it's, it's kind of unnecessary but it covers imperfections for up to 24 hours and mattifies the skin extremely hd finish to ensure the skin is beautifully even and camera ready it is cruelty free vegan and gluten free which i found very interesting i didn't realize that foundation or makeup in general could be gluten free and it is also alcohol free um i think maybe certain makeup products have a small percentage of alcohol but this is this is alcohol free and yeah this is also the same claims that are on the bottle and i said it is dermologically tested and it must i must shake before use okay so we have some of it in french and then other part of it in dutch so i don't know what that means i'm not sure where this is from i have tasters that you can use in store but i mean with covid i'm not really wanting to taste so i kind of took a gamble i kind of looked at the shade range on the catrice website which is european there's no like south african based website but i feel like toffee is my color i'm usually like a toffee or a caramel what i find interesting is that all their names are something beige something beige so from the lightest to the darkest it's something beige i don't know if they want like a uniformity in it it's just like call it what it is it's just toffee it's just you know what i'm saying you know what i mean in any case so like i said i've primed already with the primer so we are going to put it on and i'm going to do half of my face with a brush and half of my face with a sponge because to be very honest i'm not loyal to either or camp i know there's some people who only use a brush for their foundation when they're buffing it out or some people only use a sponge i use either or really depending on the foundation itself i would say something like remember the l'oreal infallible much easier to apply and brush out with a buff out with a brush than with a sponge and something like my maybelline superstay i prefer it's a little bit thicker um, I prefer to blend that out with a sponge, so it's really dependent on the product. So I'm going to use this rounded brush that I have from my set from Channel. Guys, Channel is now open. Go buy brushes if you want. So we're going to open it and just... Oh, I need to like... Ugh. I don't like this. Okay, I think I folded up. Ooh, ooh, it is very liquidy. Do you know what it smells like? There's a tiny chemical smell, but it kind of smells like baby powder. It's so weird. It smells like baby powder. And as you can see, it's very liquidy. Um, does it dry down quickly? I feel like I'm gonna need another layer, but well, I mean it's very very liquidy So should I apply it with the sponge at all? Let's just do this part I am not a fan Of this dropper situation Okay, so we've blended out this part with the brush and I'm not going to lie, I don't believe that I want to taste out, okay, let's test out, we'll taste out a small section, let's test out this part of my face with the sponge, but I feel like my sponge is going to soak it all up because it is extremely liquidy. It smells really, guys, it smells nice. <laughs> It smells nice. It doesn't have like a chocolatey scent like my Wet n Wild foundation. It doesn't smell very chemically like the L'Oreal Infallible. It smells like baby powder. Like it just smells. It smells nice. It's a very nice smell. Um, it is already very matte, which I like, and it is pretty full coverage. Um, I will say obviously because I always feel like my forehead it's a bit of a situation especially here that the darker pigment over here always peeks through. Um, but I think it's a pretty nice finish so far i like how it applied with the brush i don't know about this dropper situation 
this dropper situation is so weird i'd prefer a pump i'd even prefer the spatula from the wet and wild thing that's all like a doe foot app applicator this dropper why this is not science class why do you i don't understand the points of droppers like i just don't get it and anyways regardless of it um let's just apply let's just apply a little bit on the side of my face and i'm gonna blend it out with the sponge <laughs> bad with the sponge but i do feel like a lot of it has just gone onto the sponge and not stayed on my face so i feel like i'm gonna do the rest of my face with the brush shade match this is pretty warm um i'm getting a little bit of an orange tinge teeny tiny orange tinge. i feel like i'm sometimes i'm, I'm in between i'm i i, I I don't have neutral tones i do have very warm undertones but more yellow than red undertones and this is giving me a lot of red undertones it is very full coverage i think from my face to my neck it's not bad it's not an exact match i feel like the foundations that i've tried before in terms of like exact 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 shade match is L'Oreal Infallible and the Maybelline Fit Me. Those ones are, the, are exactly my shade. I will say the Wet n Wild one is a tad bit too light for me. Um, but this one is not too bad. I think it's okay. Um, I, will also, I will say that the people who might be maybe like a shade darker than me, the shade below mine might not match them. Like I said, they need to extend their shade range in terms of the darker side of the spectrum because it's not it's not it's not popping on that side it's not popping but i don't think it's a bad match and this is i feel like this was like half a pump and we, that we applied so this is more like i feel like i applied maybe like two pumps because there's no pumps because it's not a pump but this is like just a, like a light application but i really feel like i'm gonna go with the rest of my face with the brush so let's just do that <music> downstairs to give my mom something and i feel like i'm looking a little bit orange like it's already oxidizing funny it's a very nice matte finish i won't lie it does also feel very lightweight oh my gosh i'm like out of breath from running up downstairs but it's a very lightweight for me that it does kind of the second skin feeling i don't think yeah i think it's pretty lightweight but it does look like i have makeup on so this natural looking coverage uh -uh, it doesn't look like i have like caked up makeup but definitely does look like i have makeup on i wouldn't say i would say a foundation that has a very natural looking kind of a coverage and finish is the l'oreal infallible this one is not necessarily meeting that claim but it is very lightweight but i'm coming off a little bit orange i am wondering if i should contour and highlight like i normally would um maybe just doing a little bit of that i'm gonna use a little bit of powder i think i'm actually not necessarily gonna contour i think i'm just gonna highlight underneath my eyes a little bit and put a little bit of powder there and then also put my yardy loose caramelized powder kind of just around my face just to kind of let it also sit in um because it doesn't like claim that it's transferable you know but because all makeup really is but just to like kind of set it in place but it's a very very beautiful matte finish so what i'm gonna do off camera is just do a little bit of highlighting underneath my eyes like i said setting that in place and yeah that's basically it i'll show you guys how i look after that this is the final look with my a little bit i did contour a little bit let me just be very honest i contoured a little bit i feel that i'm using the wet and wild 
concealers the one in dark cocoa and the one in medium deep tan and for contour i'd use my illegal hd um, pro concealer but the contour wasn't an issue i did feel like blending out those two concealers underneath the the wet and wild ones was a little bit difficult um my face doesn't feel dry but looking at it with just the foundation on because it's so matte it looks a little bit dry so i don't know if it's gonna feel dry it doesn't feel drying like when you apply it on your lips you know you apply lipstick on your lips that you know is very drying you can just feel all the moisture leaving your lips it doesn't necessarily feel that way it feels that way lightweight it doesn't feel like i have makeup on when i was applying that wet and wild concealer it just looks really funny and trying to like blend it in with my sponge it felt a bit weird like it was just they're not gelling well together and i just feel that i wouldn't suggest this foundation for people who have dry skin so far at this point in time out of 10 i would give it right now out of 10 i'm giving it a uh, seven and that's because i really am feeling that i'm looking really orange in this mirror when i look at my bathroom and my, my bathroom mirror i look a little bit way too orange for my liking is it really too much of a big contrast for me how it looks between my face and my chest i'm looking more orange here and i'm very very yellow and like i have very yellow undertones so it looks a bit too different for me i will ask my friend i'm meeting her up for lunch i'll ask her how what she thinks about how the foundation looks but i really like the finish i won't lie the finish right now it's looking very nice looking lovely so yeah so guys it is now like actually monday and i wore this on saturday so it is a bit of time but i wore this foundation yesterday as well and i must say my final thoughts on this foundation is that it's not my exact shade it's a little bit darker and it oxidized a little bit orangey for me um i don't have orange undertones i don't have red undertones i just have like more yellow golden undertones so this is not the exact same shade for me so wearing a low cut a low cut top like this like i did in the previous footage just doesn't work you can see a very big difference from my chest to my face um not that i try to really match my chest will match my face to my chest often my i don't think there's a very big difference between my face and my chest my chest is a little bit lighter but i don't try to match it when i am wearing foundation but i just don't think this is a perfect match i think the shade range is okay it could definitely be better especially for the african demographic like for people of deeper darker um deeper and darker skin tones and yeah I, I think overall it's very very mattifying so i wouldn't recommend this i feel like for people who have dry skin not that it felt drying but if you like your skin looks very very matte so actually i don't know if i would wear like on a really hot summer's day it would probably work you know because i didn't feel even throughout my day on saturday i didn't get too much shine at all my friend was telling me actually she did notice the difference between my face and my neck and um, she said it is a little bit orangey but it's not that bad and throughout our time at the restaurant she was like actually it is looking more better i think in a very stark natural light you can see the difference but another it's not a really terrible difference but she also did say like it's not sh shiny or anything so it is very matte um the second skin thing definitely i feel like that's the thing i think more brands are into the second skin light weight but yet still full coverage kind of a trend that's the trend that i'm getting from a lot of um, makeup brands i have two other foundations that i'm going to review for you guys and that's they also kind of claim a little bit of the same things but we'll see if they work so i think out of 10 out of all the foundations that i've tried i will give this a 6 out of 10 and it's definitely lost points just because of the shade range it not being my perfect shade it having that very dry almost well too matte almost dry look and I'm not a fan of the packaging sorry but this dual drop situation is not for me it does feel like a sturdy bottle it hasn't fallen thank god it does feel like a sturdy bottle but i don't really love the packaging as well as the frosted glass because it again it makes it a little bit more difficult to see what the actual product looks like so yeah those are my final thoughts on this product i hope you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video please do give it a very big thumbs up before you go hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't and please comment in the description box down below what your thoughts are on this foundation would you go try it it is pretty affordable 
if you have already tried it what's your shade do you like it do you not like it what are your thoughts about it and i will see you guys next time bye